I'm going to show you guys how to make this card right here. It's a pretty simple card. It looks kind of difficult, but it's not. And let me lift this up because I have a cut file for it and it'll cut for time. And I hate my voice, guys, so bear with me. Um, these are the cuts you're going to end up with. Uh, this is a piece of cardstock, A2 size. Uh, you have to hand cut this. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this is my mat. And this is cut at um, three and a quarter by five inches. I like a little bit of extra of the color showing on that. Okay. And then these are the cuts that you'll end up with the cricket, which is for the bird and the branches and the words and your scallop circle. Um, now, I cheated a little bit. And I am totally addicted to inking everything. So, I have some of my cuts. I have my cuts already inked and ready. Um, the Winter Wonderland doesn't have a shadow for the words. So, I cut a shadow. And I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I don't know if that was upside down or not. I'll have to get used to this video thing. And I just simply put a couple of dots of glue on there. And then I kind of offset the word to make it look what well, kind of spun around there, didn't it? Once you get it on there where you want it. And you can kind of just squeeze it down. Don't worry about it if your glue shows a little bit because it will. So, now, uh, what I'm going to do now is get some of this stuff out of my way. I am going to get my bird body here, which I've already inked. And I'm going to put some glue on that. And you'll probably see my fat belly hanging on the table. And this is for the head. And just a little bit of glue. And hello, you hello. say hello, Amber. That's my goddaughter in the background saying hello to Lucy. And okay, so there's your bird. Get my handy dandy ATG there and line that up. Okay, and then the next thing I want to put down is my branch shadow. Okay, and uh, okay, there we go. Oh, move it up a little bit because I've got to put make a, sure you leave room because you're going to put greetings down there. Okay, your branch shadow goes down. Um, on this other card, I had put a circle in the middle, but on this one, I'd put a circle here. And it went down first, but I'm not doing it on this one because I don't want to. So, I love that scotch glue. If you guys don't have it, you might want to get some and try it. It's wonderful. And it's really good about not bubbling your paper, warping your paper, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then next, you all right. Okay, well, let's put that down there. Okay, next, get your branch, and just you kind of want to dot down the ends there a little bit. This is my wonderful Fisker's cutting mat that I've had for probably 15 years or more. It's very well loved and used, as you can see by all the stains. Um, and when I inked the branch, I just inked the top part of the branch uh, to give it a shadow effect. And you can kind of see a little bit, I think I almost flipped y'all off, um, right through there. But then just put it down and ooh, ooh, you can get tough with it and it'll be alright. Okay, and then next you'll want to get your little um, bird shadow as much as possible. Oop, let me move him down a little bit. Okay. And so there he is. And then you'll get your bird that you put together while ago. And just put some glue on him or her. Depends if your bird's a male or female. I'm not it wasn't gender specific on the card, so and I really don't know what kind of bird that is, but I just made it 
a, and that it's white, uh, two different kind of off whites in the mica card stock, and it um, kind of shimmers. In uh, my pattern paper is basic gray, and the this is Stampin' Up Old Olive, the base. Oh, looky there, my branch got off whack. Ha, huh. see, that's another good thing about it not being instant drying. You can always go back and fix it. And it's fixed. And the brown cardstock is Prism. Now, very simply, you got your words already glued. And you'll want to take it. Now this one, you can dot a little extra glue because it's going down on the mat. And then you'll put your seasons up here. Press down. And on the greetings, I start from the end of the word and work my way in. That way I don't run out of card room on the card. Um, so I start, I spell it backwards, so to speak. I'm not sure what it's Sinegid root or something. I don't know what it says backwards, but when you get it down, it's the right way. And I am so loving this mica. This brown on here is mica as well as um, I think it's called bronze. And then this red, I can't remember if it's Mars or Jupiter, Jupiter, but it's a mica cardstock also. Okay, now we have that. And I am going to actually show you guys. I so cheat. This is super glue gel. I love it. And these are rhinestones from Walmart in the wedding section. I need to buy a new tube. I've last these lasted for a long time. They're like four dollars for a tube. And let me make sure my glue. Yep, my glue is going to come out. Now here's what's great about the super glue gel. Your rhinestones will stay. But it also, I'm almost out of this, um, it doesn't dry real quick, so you have plenty of time to do your dots. I tested this earlier. And then come back and put your rhinestones on. And just drop it and kind of tap it down. It slides a little bit, but that's alright. It'll. I think I just did do that real quick. And there you have it. Now for the bird's eye, I actually am using uh, Stampedius uh, Class Appeal Stickers. My friend Carmen, Scrap and Bee as she's known, had given this to me last year at Christmas time. And I love these little stickers. They're kind of holographic, but you have to watch off when you're popping the little ones off. Because they want to go flying out somewhere. Uh, and there you have it. And there's your card. Oh, also, I am too cheap to use a half a sheet of cardstock, you know, because I love my Stampin' Up! cardstock. Um, so I just make a mat, and then what I do is I keep a bunch of the, this is the Walmart, uh, Georgia Pacific paper, and I keep a bunch of these cut up, and then... Also, this way I don't have to worry about placing any white on the inside. And it makes uh, cheap card bases, so I don't waste a bunch of money. And as you see, I already inked the edges of that. And then I just line it up, adhere it to that. So instead of two cards out of a piece of card stock, I actually get four. And there you go. And that's your card. Can you guys see it? I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.